Celestial Chronicles, Noah's Ark, the Nephilim, and the Giants. Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. In this video, we will embark on a journey through some of the most intriguing and mysterious stories from the Bible. We will explore Noah's Ark and the creatures that were not allowed to enter it, focusing particularly on fish and sea creatures, and the Nephilim, a race of giants mentioned in the scriptures. We'll dive into why certain creatures didn't need to be on the Ark, the origins of the Nephilim, their connection to the Flood, and what happened to the giants after the Flood. Finally, we will reflect on the spiritual lessons these stories offer and touch upon the profound mystery of Jesus' death and resurrection. Noah's Ark and the Flood Before the Great Flood, humanity had descended into a state of extreme wickedness. People were corrupt and violence filled the earth. In response, God decided to cleanse the world of its evil by sending a flood to destroy all living beings, except for Noah and his family, who found favor in God's eyes. God commanded Noah to build an ark to save his family and a pair of every kind of animal. But have you ever wondered why fish and other sea creatures were not on the ark? It's a fascinating aspect of the story. Unlike land animals and birds, fish and sea creatures did not need to be brought onto the Arkansas. The reason is simple, they could survive in water. The floodwaters covered the earth, but for marine life, it was their natural habitat. Thus, they were able to continue their existence in the oceans, lakes, and rivers, unaffected by the deluge that wiped out land-dwelling creatures. The survival of marine life during the flood is a testament to the adaptability of God's creation. While the flood was a catastrophic event for terrestrial life, the fish and other sea creatures thrived in their aquatic environment. This detail underscores the selective nature of God's judgment and the remarkable design of the natural world. The Nephilim and Angels now, let's delve into the mysterious Nephilim. Who were they, and what was their connection to the Flood? The Nephilim are first mentioned in Genesis 6 verses 1 to 4, where they are described as the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men. This passage has sparked numerous interpretations and debates among scholars and theologians. One prevalent theory is that the sons of God were fallen angels who took human wives, resulting in the birth of the Nephilim. These beings were described as giants and mighty men of renown. Their existence contributed to the wickedness that prevailed on earth, which ultimately led to the flood. The presence of the Nephilim indicated a significant corruption of God's creation, blending the spiritual and physical realms in a way that was never intended. The Nephilim's influence on human history is a topic of much speculation. Some believe that they possessed extraordinary abilities and knowledge, which they imparted to humanity, further accelerating mankind's moral decay. Their hybrid nature and immense power made them formidable beings, adding to the chaos and violence of the pre-flood world. Post-flood giants. After the flood, the Bible still mentions the presence of giants, suggesting that the Nephilim's legacy persisted. For instance, in the book of Numbers, we read about the Israelites encountering giants in the land of Canaan. These giants, often referred to as the Anakim, were descendants of the Nephilim and struck fear into the hearts of the Israelites. One of the most famous stories involving giants is that of David and Goliath. Goliath, a Philistine warrior of enormous stature, challenged the Israelites and was ultimately defeated by the young shepherd David with a sling and a stone. This victory was not just a triumph of the underdog but also a demonstration of God's power and the faith of those who trusted in him. The defeat of giants by the Israelites continued as they conquered the promised land. Under the leadership of Joshua, they drove out many of these formidable adversaries, fulfilling God's command to reclaim the land for his people. These stories of conquest and victory over giants symbolize the triumph of good over evil and the fulfillment of God's promises. Spiritual Lessons from the Stories of Giants The stories of the Nephilim and the giants offer profound spiritual lessons. They remind us of the consequences of deviating from God's plan and the importance of maintaining our faith and trust in him. The giants represented not only physical challenges but also spiritual obstacles that needed to be overcome. In our own lives, we may face giants, seemingly insurmountable problems or fears. The tales of David and Goliath, and the Israelites' victories, encourage us to confront our giants with faith and courage. They teach us that with God's help, no obstacle is too great and no enemy too powerful. Jesus' Death and Resurrection as we conclude this exploration, let's reflect on the profound mystery of Jesus' death and resurrection. The Bible tells us that after Jesus died on the cross, his spirit descended into the realm of the dead. During this time, he preached to the spirits in prison, proclaiming his victory over sin and death. This event highlights Jesus' authority over all creation, both in heaven and on earth. His resurrection signifies the ultimate triumph over death, offering the promise of eternal life to all who believe in him. The power of Jesus' resurrection is a cornerstone of the Christian faith, 
emphasizing the hope and redemption available to humanity through his sacrifice. The connection between these ancient stories and the life of Jesus is profound. Just as the flood cleansed the earth of wickedness, Jesus' death and resurrection offer a spiritual cleansing, providing a way for humanity to be reconciled with God. The giants of the Old Testament, with their imposing presence, symbolize the sin and death that Jesus overcame through his resurrection. Final Thoughts In conclusion, the stories of Noah's Ark, the Nephilim, and the giants are more than just ancient tales, they are rich with spiritual significance and lessons for our lives today. They remind us of the consequences of straying from God's path, the importance of faith and courage, and the ultimate victory of good over evil through Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining us on this journey through some of the most fascinating narratives of the Bible. At Celestial Chronicles, we strive to uncover the deeper meanings and spiritual insights within these ancient texts. We hope this exploration has enriched your understanding and inspired your faith. Stay tuned for more enlightening content, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who seek to delve into the mysteries of the scriptures. Until next time, may your path be guided by faith and your heart filled with the wisdom of God's word.